guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you know, last week I did a very controversial video involving Portsmouth and yeah, a lot of people didn't like it and whatever, and I thought there's no really point in me going to the game if people aren't going to want me at the game, and I'd say, well, I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm not too fast, and I thought I would give the ticket to someone who actually really wants a ticket, and there was a certain news report recently where a certain Danish fan who, for some reason, supports Portsmouth Football Club, really wanted to go to the game, and I thought, do you know what, let's get him over it, and let's get him to the game, so... Rasmus, welcome to Pompey. Thank you. <laughs> you alright? I am, yes. So, Thank you so much. This is Rasmus. Hello everybody. Where in, where in Denmark are you from? I'm from a city called Ranus. Ranus. Uh, or Ranus with an R. Ah, that's uh, Up in the northern part of Denmark. So, what brought you to support Portsmouth? Like, it's what everyone wants to know. Well, um, I just remember being a supporter. I don't really know for how long I've been it, but I think it comes from back in the FA Cup 2008, I think, when really? they won at, uh, at Wembley. So that's a good like 11 years you've supported Pompey. Oh, what a kit. That's so good. Um, my favourite moment with stuff. Where do you get this Pompey stuff? Do you get it online? This I got from uh, the Pompey shop. And okay. this is so long ago, I don't even remember where I bought it. This I got when... Yeah, David Norris, yeah. 2012 kit. Yeah. And I, I, I actually think because a funny thing is that my family is actually a Man United family. Really? So I was actually born into such was supposed to be a Man United fan. Yeah, because um, I heard you, a lot of people in your family, like your girlfriend's dad supports Tranmere. So mm. there are there is British football in the family. There is, but... yeah, definitely. But my father is a huge Man United fan, so is his, his brothers and so is my brother. Yeah. And it was really determined for me to be a Man United supporter, but... There was something about the atmosphere at Bratton Park yeah. that you could feel when you watched it on TV. I haven't been to a game yet, and that's why I'm here for the first match ever. Rasmus, this is you tonight. Sorry? Pompey! Yeah, Pompey. <laughs> there we go. Do you know all the songs? Yeah, both of them, I do, yeah. Yeah? Do you know the scum songs? <laughs> They're the ones that will be out tonight. Wait, um, you gotta hear the whistle before the game. The whistle before the game, good boy. Like right before, when they come out, and the players walk out, like, it's pretty cool. So, Mike Oldfield's. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah, 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 and then all of a sudden you're going to the biggest game in what seven years it's been? Yeah, seven years, yeah. Bring it for a horse! Yo, he's swinging for a horse! Are you fine? He's fucking beating a horse! Oh, he's, yo, the dog's coming for him. Yo, I'm getting out of the way because. <laughs> yo, the horse is chasing him! Go, fam! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! He's caught, he's caught! Buttons out, buttons out! So like, although, although you've supported Portsmouth for what, like 11 years, this is the first South Coast Army mm. in seven. So, who, who would have thought like seven years ago in 2012, last time they played in the championship, they would be playing again this late. And you would be there. And I would be there. Did, but... did you watch that game? Or something? I did, I did. I uh, love the <laughs> moment when uh, David Norris smashed in that equaliser. Literally, to, um, I've, shut the face I've spoken to locals and people say that David Norris goal where he smacked in a late equaliser from outside the box. I think that's the greatest that, ever moment yeah, for me. Yeah, people say that is one of the greatest ever Portsmouth moments. I think and so too. Even for you as well, just watching I think so too. That and the FA Cup win at Wembley yeah. after being met, beating Man United at Old Trafford. The same year United went to win the Premier League and yeah, the yeah, Champions yeah. League. So, what an accomplishment oh. it was. Man, this is them. crazy. Like, this is why I thought this guy deserves the ticket more than me. Because, like, did you think, like, seven years ago when you were watching David Norris smash that goal in, the next time these teams played, you would be there? I was hoping they would meet again soon because yeah. I really wanted to go. And I it's knew been so long. When I saw the the, draw, the Carabao Cup draw, I just knew I had to go. I called my father-in-law at two a.m. in the morning and said, "We've drawn Southampton. <laughs> I just have to go there." That you have to be. Uh, yeah. A season ticket holder or have been on been to the matches on a regular basis. Yeah. 
I was just... It was very disappointing. I know, was yeah, so if you guys didn't know, if you needed to get a ticket for this Portsmouth Southampton game, you either had to be a season ticket holder or to get it on general mm. sale like I did, like you guys saw in a previous video, you had to have been to a game since the start of last season. Mm. Like, and that's how I got, because you guys know I went to the last game of the season, um, I qualified for a ticket, and there was only, I think, 500 tickets on general sale, there wasn't yes. many, and I think in the first 10 minutes they sold out, so, oh, so <laughs> but fans. you didn't even get a chance to get one, like, they I were, didn't get a chance, you needed a client ID with that on, and people, mm. people were selling their client IDs, like, it was crazy, and they sell for hundreds, and I actually, my father-in-law, he contacted the local new, newspaper here in Portsmouth, yeah. and told the story to them and um, yeah and that's how I found out about it yeah. um, I saw uh, everyone in Portsmouth knows this story um, the Danish super fan that it's your first time in Portsmouth but yeah. you've supported Portsmouth for 11 years now that is true passion like they're supporting your local team and then there's falling in love with a team that is so far away that you support them no matter what and I, I really commend you on that there is like the, the thing is that there is a difference between liking a club and loving a club and I really fell in love with Pompey when yeah, when I first saw them play, and, yeah. and I can't really describe how it was just the team for me, it was, yeah. That's incredible, yeah. it's actually incredible. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the game because it's going to be a mad one. Um, what do you think the score will be? Well, I hope for a miracle and uh, I hope we can beat the scum with a 1-0 victory. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's going to be tough. See, like, I spoke to a few players and they're, they're all going for the 1-0. All of them, like, they said, I asked them what the score would be, they said, we're going for the 1-0 win. So, um, if you get an early goal, you might be able to hold off. But, um, I think it's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough, Southampton will play it's gonna be the, a tough the game. best team too. Yeah, so, um, I, I think as well, I think Southampton will play their strongest team just yeah. because it's Portsmouth. Um, a lot of Premier League teams aren't playing, League One teams would normally play their second team. And if they, if Southampton did play their second team, I would be very surprised. But yeah, it's gonna be a tough game. Like it will be. And I uh, just... If you get thrashed on your first game, I wouldn't feel too bad. Like <laughs> um, the Pompey fans are gonna be so passionate. If they lose, it will be. I will be passionate too. <laughs> yeah, you will be. Like um, you're sitting in the north lower stand, so it's right in the middle, opposite the mm. dugout. It's and that's the stand. Um, they call it the pyro stand because it's so loud. Like that's where all the young people sit. Everyone cheers. There's a lot of season ticket holders there that go crazy. I've got the best seats in the house. Yeah, like um, when I got the ticket, I just picked on the lowest, middlest bit mm. possible, and I'm so glad that that can be where you're sitting for your first game because you will get a full round view. And I think just where you're sitting, the Southampton fans would just be over there in the corner. Yeah. So you get a really good view of them. Get a really good look at everything. Yeah. Them. Yeah, that's well, I, I can't really thank you enough for that's fine, man. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, you sound really appreciative of the tickets, and that's what that's what I care about, really. Like, as long as you have a good time, like, I would have had an, I would have had a good time too, but I don't really want to go. Like, if you, if someone else is gonna have a better time than me, then that's better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like look at you. You've been buzzing all day. You, he's flown from Denmark to Portsmouth just for and this game. Been on a train for. Three and a half hour, I think. So yeah, yeah, like you got from London and down here. Yeah, you got lost on the yeah. trains. <laughs> Took the wrong train. That's <laughs> alright. First time here, but yeah. I'm, I hope hopefully you can come back and go to more Boston. I'm sure you'll you'll, you'll, you'll definitely want to now yeah. you've done it. You know, definitely. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go show Rasmus Portsmouth because the game's not till later, and I just want to show you around. You know, but um, yeah, it's been lovely it's interviewing pleasure. you and. I hope you enjoy the game, you know, because it's going to be a mad game, it's going to be a mad game. Player Pompey. What can they do on a cold and rainy night in Portsmouth? <laughs> I think not. Another Southampton supporter. Where? There. Oh. <laughs> Little doggo. <laughs>